Hello and welcome to Norway. <laughs> we are here at Rudskagen in the street stock. Yes, this is an official race. <laughs> uh, I uh, well, well, we'll address the elephant in the uh, Norway shaped room here in a moment. But first, I'd like to say sorry, I've been gone. Uh, wasn't feeling well for a while. And then right on top of that, when things started to get better, I didn't. <laughs> I got really sick uh, for like a week, and my voice sounded like uh, the receptionist from Monsters, Inc. You know, like, Mike Wazowski. Yeah, that one. That was me for a whole week, and I didn't want to hear myself sound like that, so I figured nobody else did. And also was feeling just absolutely terrible, so... Not in the mood for racing. So, that's where I've been. Been gone for a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, but if I'm not racing, I can't be recording, right? And I, I did do a couple races uh, sporadically over the past two weeks, but uh, not not so much. And uh, <laughs> like I tried to at least get an ARCA race in because those are always my favorite. And I did the uh, ARCA race at where were they last week? Charlotte. And I felt so sick afterward. I felt like I was going to barf <laughs> after that race. And I was like, all right, well, I did my Arca race. Now I'm going to go sleep again. But uh, starting to feel a little bit better now. My voice st might start getting weak or something after this recording. Or uh, hopefully not during. But uh, for the most part, I'm feeling much better. And... Uh, well, I get to go out and do whatever this combo is. Street stocks at Roots again. It's actually pretty fun. I've been having fun going around, but I just, I love this course. So that probably plays a big role. I really like Roots again. Um, no matter how much I'm not able to say it. Let me just drift around the final corner. It's, it's weird. It's kind of weird to drive, but it's pretty fun. Um, I put my brake bias all the way forward for extra braking power, because by default this thing is... Okay, well that's cool. Let's just throw away the first lap. You got that corner? Uh, you by default the brake bias is 50% in this thing, so I bumped it up to 56, because you know, I want to be able to stop for that corner that I didn't stop for. For example, uh, I just got... I tried to get too much. Um, I'm trying to hit a fast lap here when really I should just be focusing on being smooth because I don't think I'm going to be able to get, be uh, too competitive. I'm not familiar enough with this car, I think. It seems like guys that uh, even if they don't have the most, the highest road eye rating, they seem very familiar with the car and I think that helps them out a ton. So even though I've got a higher road eye rating, the people that run this car more often are probably going to have a lot more success and are familiar with its quirks and such. You can really get on the brakes. Doesn't like... The, just I guess because the braking power is pretty weak or something. Like it doesn't like lock up the tires or anything like that. So, I uh, haven't done too many laps. Just did a fair number of laps for practice and feel good enough. It's very forgiving as the street stock usually is. So it's actually, it's a pretty fun straightforward road course racing experience and uh that's that's pretty cool like it's not really uh what you would expect from like stock car road racing which is usually super duper difficult this is pretty forgiving it feels like so i uh i'm gonna do what i should have done for the first lap anyway and uh just focus on hitting a solid lap and uh, by doing so i'll probably hit my best lap anyway so, uh, be smooth. That seems to be the key, as is often the case. But yeah, this is always one of the toughest corners here. This track, but uh, not too bad. Not too bad in this car if you just make sure you slow down properly for it. Getting a little bit out of sorts. I need to rein it in. Make sure I'm hitting the marks. It seems like so long as you hit your hit the line 
Now get the apexes. Um, not in too bad a shape. Should be just fine. Don't have to push all too hard in order to get a solid lap in. Fastest lap for English, 133.6. So, we'll, we'll pull it around here. No, we won't. Why did they only give us five minutes? You kidding me right now? Five I guess. That's pretty darn stupid, isn't it? Okay, well, that was going to be a pretty decent lap, around my best. Probably would have put us about fifth. So, I mean, we're only a couple spots back, that's whatever. Um, I, uh, I'm just going to try to be careful and avoid some guys that may not do too much. Uh, yeah, <laughs> road racing. So, oh man, we got to do a full pace lap and everything. Just gonna have fun with it. Uh, it's street stocks at a road course, so I'm not expecting the highest level of fine craftsmanship here. I just, uh, I hope, all I hope is that I survive long enough to be able to run some laps and hopefully have some fun. So, uh, 15 laps? That's not too bad. That's. I'm gonna be here for a little bit. I'll say the street stock schedules for the uh, for the C class they've been very interesting. They have been very interesting. Lots of uh, Kansas, you know, Michigan. Now we're in Norway. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, it's gotten me into the car. I can't deny that. I wouldn't be racing this otherwise. So, if that's what they wanted to achieve, they did it. They got me s to sit my butt in a street stock and go to Norway you and <laughs> race at Rudskigen. So, you know what? Uh, you've done something. You did something. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna, whether I regret it or not, you're in a moment. We'll find out. I'm hoping it won't be as bad because I'm thinking, like, this should be... Alright, yep, I'm really regretting this already. Follow car number zero six in the left lane. What? I, 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 did he think that this was a standing start? It started going. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know, man. Uh, let's let's try to survive the pace lap. That should be uh, goal number one here, I guess. Turn one is going to be very scary. The brakes are pretty weak on this thing, so I could definitely see people plowing into people from behind. Just hopefully not me. All right, everybody. Let's have a good race here today. In All right. Well, we're going to get out ahead of that and just assume they're going to be annoying the whole time. So we're going to turn that off. Um... I just, I hope they're taking it kind of seriously. That's what you would hope for when you get onto iRacing. Even if it's kind of a weird combo, like, you would hope people would actually try to race well. But that seems to be a pretty mixed bag, whether that happens or not. There's also the fact that it is now the day after Christmas, and you don't know if, like, some little kids got iRacing as their Christmas present or something. <laughs> so, there's always that factor. I don't know how much of a thing that is. I see smoke. That's probably not good. Let me make sure my brake bias is good. Yeah, 56. That's as high as it goes in this thing. And uh, I think that extra braking power will be useful. Because 56 is pretty far back to begin with. So, And the brakes, like I've mentioned, are pretty weak in this car. So I think that'll all be quite nice to have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Try not to clear my throat too much, but like I said, kind of congested a little bit still. And talking a lot might aggravate my throat again, but hopefully not. Get ready. Going hopefully I'll be able to focus purely on the racing. So we're about to start. 
Hide car is off. Be ready. Go, go, go. Green flag. Green we are flag. going. Better or worse. Car on. Oh, I had to skip down to like first to slow the car down. I was about to hit the guy ahead of me. Car on. All right. I'm glad I braked early because still there. Hold your line. They uh, they braked a little harder or softer than I expected. Okay, start all Clear. Day. Time to get to work. Okay. We are still alive, so that's that's important. They are trying to not be alive ahead of us, getting into each other quite a bu quite a bunch. Car ahead. So car ahead. All right, they're thankfully out of the racing line. We are gonna take our time. Fifteen laps. And make sure I am breaking well enough. Left side. Still there. Clear. Okay, wow, we are really stacking up. Alright, we've made it a lap, it seems. We've got to make our way through turn one again, though, so that's a little scary. Is someone off? Oh my god, go, please. Thought I saw someone over there that scared me a little. Oh, I'm getting sideways. Right side. Stay on the left. Clear. Sorry if you're hearing coughing. There's <laughs> We're all very sick in this household. <laughs> if not very apparent. Hopefully the it's gonna get cut out, but if not. Sorry, we can't help it. We're all very sick. Okay, that guy's wrecking and hopefully pulling it to the right rather than the left. Holy cow. Okay. Oh my god. I really need to get clear of these guys. It really sucks that I wasn't allowed to do qualifying because I definitely feel like I could be pulling away from a lot of these guys. They're blocking because of course they are. Little annoying. That's what it is. They are so slow. I need to find a way past as soon as possible. I hope the coughing is not running in the video. Oh my god, guys, go! Holy cow. It is time to go now. Time to go yesterday. They're pulling away in front of us so much. This guy's obnoxious. <sighs> Turning all the way to the right to block. Right <sighs> guard. Clear on the right. It's so much earlier than he needs to. Holy cow, man. He's like stopping and starting like in the middle of the corner. It's so hard not to get in the back of him. Alright, calm it down, it's fine, we're in sixth, it looks like. Slow car ahead. Car stop on the right. Overdriving it majorly. Car on okay. You got a slow car on the right. Stay on the right. Clear. Car I don't know what's going on. Keep to the left. Clear. Okay, well, we survived that. Fastest 
I think we're in third. If I'm not mistaken. The one car, or the guy in first is miles and miles away. But You're now in third. The lap time was at 137.4. Good lap. That's your oh my so Jesus, he's so slow through here. Okay. We're good, we're good. We got a, about a second behind, we got room behind them. I remember he braked earlier than I like to brake for here. Yeah, that's pretty normal that time. Waiting on him. Guy behind's catching up because we are stuck. The car behind is catching. The gap's now 0.5. Oof. This is pretty intense. I thought the car was going to be way too slow for this place. But it's not, I don't think. It's uh, still plenty technical. I underestimated how fast these things would go around here, so. Still pretty fun. I might just let the guy. Uh, Slow in, fast out. Keep the inside line covered. This guy's so slow into that corner. I knew I was going to get close to getting hit from behind. Back him. Right. Maybe they've shut up a little bit. <laughs> I missed my shift turning the mic on. I should probably focus on th the most important things. God, I'm slowing down so much for this guy. We're gonna get hit, just go. Clear on the left. For a fact, we're gonna get run over by that guy eventually, so just gonna let him go. He's stuck behind two people that I am uh, pretty sure I'm faster than. The gap in front has increased, it's now about 0.8. We're never gonna win with how much time we lost. Whilst drifting it through the corner. That's crazy. You really can drift these things. I don't know how much of a good idea it is, but you certainly can. I just noticed we're just now a third of the way through the race. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> I'm trying to suppress the coughs. But uh, I'm, I'm glad I let that guy go. That lap time was 136.7. You can see how much faster we're getting through there than these guys. And about three tenths on them through those couple of corners. fast though. Maybe I was underestimating. Maybe I'm entering too hard. Uh, always keep uh, all the possibilities in mind. Now they're side by side. They're gonna lose some time doing that. Oh my gosh, they are racing so hard. And with so much time left to go. How does he not lose more time when he's basically perpendicular to the track like that? <laughs> this is crazy. You've just done a 
Over, overshot it. Whoops. I think the tires are getting more worn. I can't take my normal braking spots anymore. Thankfully, I'm able to avoid getting into the back of them. Uh, these guys are better than me, I think. Despite being 700 I rating. <laughs> I think it's that familiarity with the car, man. Plus, I didn't get too much practice. Definitely uh, could, could have used some more. But uh, then again, it's the first race of the week here on Monday. So I guess nobody has a ton of practice, if I had to guess. So no excuses for me. Gap in front has increased to 2.0 seconds. I'm okay with fourth place. That'd be fine with me. I kind of wish I turned my steering ratio down. It feels like I'm. I could be getting more turn out of the car just by turning the wheel more. Alright, we got plenty of room behind. Oh man, they're like breaking draft up there. They might wreck each other before the end of this one. Let me uh, break a little bit sooner than I have been. Oh wow, this thing gets so sideways. Under braking. I haven't really quite figured out what this car likes and doesn't like with road racing. Because I've never really done this car with road racing before. I think I did like a Texas road course forever ago and that barely even counts as road course in this car. It's like the infield Texas road course where it's like really small. And that's like the only time I've ever had to turn the other direction in this vehicle. So. Definitely nothing quite like this in my resume. Definitely overdriving it though. I need to just go back to focusing on hitting my marks. I've got to stay up to date with the car too because it definitely is lacking some grip compared to when we started. It's probably because I've been sliding around everywhere. I probably should have been more careful not to be doing that from the start, but it's just so easy to do. It's hard to avoid. Because like as soon as you get on the throttle, you're spinning tires in some way or another. They're going to go for another pass here into turn one. One of these times that's not going to work, I think. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Whether it's someone spinning out or them getting into each other or something. But these are cars are very forgiving, like I've said. So they, even though they've been all over each other, they have not ended up spinning each other out yet. We're back on them since they're fighting. Kind of letting my tires cool down a little bit. Go left. Go left. All right. Well, we'll take the one X to avoid that. Please, Colton. It's fine. First X of the race. So we'll, we'll survive. <laughs> That'll be okay. <laughs> I could have maybe gone to the left and not had to go to the grass, but that seemed like my safest option. And I was more concerned with avoiding the wreck itself than the one X I was going to get, so that's fine. He's not gone, though, that uh, 11. He's pretty fast. Despite my complaining earlier, he's pretty fast. He could probably come up and catch us again. So... I wonder how much draft is playing a role. Maybe that's why I was shot earlier. I didn't think about draft. 
It doesn't feel like we're getting much draft, but maybe that's maybe I was heading into the corner faster than I normally do, and that's why I couldn't slow it down well enough. Get lots of wheel spin through that section, feels like. Keeping it smooth. That guy's all over the place. He's losing a lot of time. Ugh. I'm barely pushing. This thing's just sliding around the corners. <laughs> the gap ahead is now 1.2 seconds. Okay, he goes real wide, real, real wide. Car on your left. Stay on the right. Clear. Well, we get by him. Not sure how long that's gonna last, though. Nice one, Colter. Nice move, mate. Obviously the leader not within our entire atmosphere at the moment, so that kind of stinks, but uh, P2 feels pretty good still. Um, we'll see if we can keep it up. Uh, will we get just completely bamboozled into turn one here? There is a non-zero chance. I do think uh, it has worked out better for me, taking it shallower right there. Don't know if that's really the best way, though. Okay. I do feel like we're much better in this sector. Oh! What happened to him? He crashed. I guess I am better in that sector. I was about to say I'm much better than him in that sector, and, uh, well, I didn't crash in that sector, so I guess by default. That means I handled it better. <laughs> that is until I crash later in this race and eat my own words, but... Whoa! For now, we've got a pretty good uh, hold on second place. I love it. I'm not sure if I would have had a chance on the leader, even if we, uh, started with more track position. He seems to have a very good knowledge of how to, how to get this done. Um, I mean, he's obviously 22 seconds ahead. That's significant, even if he hasn't had to deal with driving around other people. So, let's just focus. I'm not overdriving. We'll hit our marks. And we should be able to pull this off just fine. The uh, 11 might be upset with the 12. I don't know if it, the 12 did wreck him, but they are next to each other, and uh, they did get together a lot earlier, so there might be more wrecking to be had between those two as well. Feeling pretty good about only one X so far, though. And that was from avoiding a wreck. So, uh, kind of being a safe driver, if you think about it. <laughs> Even though I'm penalized as a non-safe driver for getting the X. But uh, it was in the pursuit of not being in a wreck. So. Is what it is. I think some, I think that lap car might have wrecked in that corner or something, because there was smoke I saw. Ooh, we're getting unsettled, be careful. Don't throw anything away here. Only got a little bit of time left. It's been a long race, but... We are, uh... closing in on the end here. As we uh, finish up lap 12, that'll bring us to... Uh, let's see. Three laps to go? Alright. And yeah, they've only slowed each other down more behind us. And uh, as I thought, nothing for the leader. Because he has pulled away even if we are alone out here. So, he was always going to win unless something happened to him. 
I'm actually going to put Session last lap up. Ah, uh, no. I'll, I'll leave it how it is. That just helps me identify if I'm overdriving a corner. Maybe a little sooner than I would otherwise. I'm not going to be able to hit all-time bests with the tires a little bit sour on me by now, but... This whole sector feels really good if you hit it right. If you uh, get in the right position to hit the S's there. And uh, just kind of like smoothly flow through it like water, it feels real good. 12, you ain't getting past me, son. Okay, yeah, he got, he definitely got eye racing for Christmas. <laughs> You've got two laps to go. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Merry Christmas to him. I hope he enjoys his uh, new video game. He's doing well. Especially as the 11 back there, fighting for third. They're uh, making it a contact sport back there, but you know what? I hope they're both having fun, enjoying their race. P2, two laps left. Come on, you're looking good for a podium. The gap behind has increased to 8.9 seconds. Oh man, the car is so much less grippy than it was at one point. It's pretty incredible, really. It's just it's not grabbing onto the track. Not turning as well as you would like. It doesn't even necessarily feel tight, I don't think. I guess it is, but... It just feels like uh, you turn the wheel and it doesn't turn as well as it used to. I don't know. I guess that's exactly what a tight race car is, but it just feels weird. Still being careful on throttle, though. I could definitely see it snapping on me if I put too much wheel in it. And, uh... First time on this track, we would go inside of that. I didn't understand where that guy said. Um... It definitely feels like it could snap on me because I put so much one wheel track, in it to get it turning. Don't forget your workout, then. And then uh, get it on the throttle. So, and I don't need to be hitting fast lap times right now. I'm not going to catch a guy ahead, but uh, spinning out would definitely get the guys behind back on the. Where this going, bombs? Alright, so final lap. This has actually gone pretty well. I, I'm very surprised I survived. There was a lot going on around me for a while. <laughs> Do I? I need to push if I need to hold this position? Oh, something happened to the 11. Um, apparently the 12 is going to get that position. It would seem... Not sure what happened. We will see what happened, though, when we check the incidents afterward, as always. Curious to see, uh, find what we'll see here. I'm very happy that I did not run into the guy ahead of me on the start. Because I was prepared to break early with the stack up, but they braked even earlier than I anticipated, and I almost got to the back of the guy. In fact, I think I might have gave him a tap, but it was just a 0x. And, uh... I, I honestly don't even know if I did for real, because there was just so much going on around me at the time. It could have been someone else tapping me in the door or something. But, no X's from that. We only got the one X from avoiding the wreck. Assuming I don't make a mistake here in these final corners. I could have been keeping it in second right there. Kind of looking at it. I've been shifting. Can't even congratulate the winner. He's already been finished for a couple years. He's probably left and won a different race in the time it took me to get second place. But all right, we pulled it off. Podium finish. Nice. Chicken flag. Chicken flag. I was the number one, so North run. it's too big of a deal. Work. But get an X after the race for no reason. Kind of half paying attention. But uh, we'll get to a nice, safe spot to park. And that was Street Stocks at Rudskagen.
Very interesting, for sure. Kind of curious about the tires. 87, 87, 86. Pretty even all around, but they are worn. Pretty, pretty, pretty well worn. I was feeling it. I did definitely feel it. By the time it was over. So as the number one, we get P2, and the number four did a fantastic job. Rookie likes its own road, so he's probably someone that does a lot of racing in the street stock. And uh, that uh, experience seems to have paid off for him here. Uh, for me, <laughs> my road racing uh, experience, I guess it got me a second place. But I think being more familiar with the mannerisms of this car would have been even more useful. Because we are 30 seconds behind where he finished. But, kept it clean. As did the 8 and the 14, who did not show up. So we were the slowest, or the lowest incidence number for people that actually showed up. So that's cool. B12 got a penalty. So the 11 did get that spot in the end. Wow. All these twists and turns. He had 15, so he was pretty close to getting the incident limit. They were just bouncing off each other for a long time. Anyway, we'll be all, uh, we'll see where some of these incidents came from. Thankfully, I seem to have been able to avoid a lot of it. This. Let me see how close I was, or if I did get to the back of the guy head. Ooh, yeah, I think that was just a phantom touch. So thankfully, thankfully I was able to not get uh, into the back of him. But you see, like, I make the corner just fine. Everyone was just taking it super easy. And, like, not ready for that. Like, my normal braking marker on fresh tires is right around the 100, so I kind of start braking a little bit before. Yeah, I could have hit the brakes even sooner than that, though. Like, you see, like, I normally start right there. I started, like, a little bit ahead. But I probably should have anticipated they would be going even slower. So, um, I almost caused a dangerous situation there. I almost got in the back from Thankfully, I, I did not. Let's see here. It's three. This very dangerous corner. Especially on cold tires. Very easy to get sideways in just about any car you bring here. Oh, man. Yeah, they're uh, getting into each other quite a bit. And then the 16, I don't know where he's going, but the 9 is going to spin. I don't know if he spun because he saw the 16 coming, but... Yeah, what a dive. Like, he's literally on the curb, and he's diving on his inside. <laughs> he makes it through, though, because the 9 is busy spinning. That's how he ended up all the way out there. I remember seeing him out there. Very easy place to lose it there on exit. Uh, he just decided he was going to end it all, I guess. Ooh, that's loud. Calm down, iRacing. Jesus. All right. So that was... It really looks like he was aiming for them. That's kind of... Messed up. Is he mad about something, or does he just hate humanity? I don't know. So he spins. Like, I'm trying to see, like, is there a place where he got a slowdown and then got a penalty? I don't know. I mean, like, right here, he's bumping the guy out of the way, I think. No, it just looked like it. He just, the 16 just got loose. I don't know. Like, he got loose over there. And then he just decided he was... he was done. That is strange. But, uh... It is frustrating to see people that aren't taking it seriously. Because he just, he just flat foots it. I don't know, man. 16 gets into the 17 and into the wall. I sneak on through. He comes across the track and wrecks himself and someone else. Thankfully it wasn't me. Yeah. 
It looks like he got loose trying to get back onto the track. It's not very well done there, and then immediately spins again. Kind of just fell apart for him on lap two. There are these guys that just, they were just having the battle of their lives for a while. Oh, that was a different guy. Well, he, he, he stopped for him at least. That was nice of him. So, the answer's side by side. I think the 12 was trying to file in, or no, he's trying to do a crossover, but there was just no room there. So he does wait for him. That's pretty courteous. Allows me to come up on through. We're three wide for a moment up there. How did we survive that? I think it kind of settled itself down. But uh, that was definitely scary coming around the corner and seeing that. But we navigate it. Find ourselves to the end of the 12 there. And we're just fine. We're fine. Just got to make sure I keep it steady. We made it through okay. There's uh, that corner again. Thousand spin outs. Almost was much worse. 15 gives a bumper to the 2. And uh, there he goes. I think the 2's been bullied pretty bad this race. Didn't someone else get him earlier or something? I don't remember. But uh, he's not been having the greatest time. There's some self spin. But uh, you really can. It can happen to you if you got too much wheel in it and uh, throttle it up too much. It's not quite as hard as the regular stock car racing that you you know, like in the trucks or in the ARCA car or something. But uh, you can still get bitten if uh, you you know gas it up too hard like that. So here's where I got my one X. Decided to mow the lawn. Was there a better way around? So I'm exiting the corner. I see him spinning right here. My momentum's pulling me out this way. And so turning to left was going to be quite difficult. And so I'm, I'm having to make the decision right here. Like, do I you know, hit the brakes, try to take it to the left? Well, here are the problems with that. This guy's spinning to the left, so he could come across the track right there and be in the way. You know, you could have this guy deciding to move to the left. And uh, I don't know how far I'm going to be able to pull it to the left. So I decide... You know, first of all, hit the brakes. Second of all, I'm going to go to the right. <sighs> That's where I'm deciding to go with this thing. And uh, it worked out. 1x, but it worked out. And you see, like, the, the white car, because they're just pushing through him. Probably could have made it to the left, but I don't know how... You know, never know how much that guy's going to move over to, to the left. It was an option, and it was an option that worked out just fine in the end. So, that's okay. And here we have them fighting for third. 12 gets into the back of them after the 11 j dives it in hard. They were fighting tooth and nail pretty much the entire race, seemed like. Even after I got away from them, they found each other again. And uh, that'll do it. Alright, so that was definitely uh, uh, an odd one, but pretty fun. I actually had a lot more fun driving around this track, around this course here in the street stock, than uh, I might have expected. So, um, if you're interested, I definitely recommend it. Rootskigen's a free track. Obviously, street stock's a free car, but uh, not too much participation. So, uh, you know, this first race of the week, only 17 people signed up, so... Maybe give it a try, you know, do some practice with the, like, racing line on or something, see where it, kind of get a general idea of where the breaking points are, and, um, hopefully you get some good people to race with, because it's actually pretty fun to drive, so, that'll do it here. Thanks for your patience as I was gone for a while. I hope to be back doing some more recordings heading forward, so, I appreciate you, and I will see you next time.